Hello, Mr. Bond. I've been expecting you. All right, maybe that wasn't the best opening to a video, but I don't, <laughs> I don't <laughs> Sorry. I don't think she was particularly happy about that. It wasn't really a Bond opening either, as I'd expected. How's everyone going? Oh, hi, sorry. She's now wanting to be stroked. I hope everyone's well. I hope that you had a good day yesterday. Did you manage to get the challenge that I laid down to you done? Hmm? Hmm? Hopefully you did. I did. I'm hoping that by the time this video goes out, I've seen some of your feedback from yesterday as to whether you did it or videos of you doing it. So today is different. Today is going to be a follow along workout with me and it's a single leg workout. So it's, an, it's another leg workout. Hang on a second, I've got to let her out the door. I think she's, she wants to go down to her bed. I want to go outside. Go on then. I'll see you in a minute. Here you go, go on. I'll see you in a minute. She gave me the sad eyes when I closed the door. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Single leg workout today. It's, uh, it's one that is a pulse raiser, but it's also a strength and conditioning workout. All you need is a chair or a stool and your bottom step of the stairs in your house. That's it, I'll talk you through the rest. Uh, let's just set expectations really quickly because there is no such thing as failure here. I'm gonna set you aspirational goals. So I'm gonna do three lots of 10 on each leg of each exercise, but that is in no way what you should be doing at this time. Here's how I'd probably separate it. My minimum expectation for everyone really is that you'd be able to do one set of 10 reps of each exercise on each leg. After that, what I'll do is I'll put a box up here or up here of me doing some other kind of slightly easier but higher pulse raising activity that you can then do. The way I'd separate it is if you are new to exercise, you haven't done these kind of things before, I would do one set of 10 and then I'd get on with the CV exercise while I'm doing the rest. If you exercise occasionally and you think you're up to it and you go to the gym, then maybe do two sets with me. And if you exercise regularly and you go to the gym regularly and you're a parent maybe and, and you think you'd like to, then do the full three sets with me. But beware, it does hurt the legs a lot. So I think even for five, six, seven and eight, and years three and four, maybe at this point, one set of 10 reps is enough and then join in with the cardiovascular exercise while you're waiting for the next set. Only move up once you're ready. This can be a progressive workout. This can be something that you do week on week and build up to getting to two sets and then three sets over time. That's the point of this. So just be aware, there is no such thing as failure. There's no such thing as, oh, I can't do it, so I'm not gonna do it. Set your benchmark and try and build maybe one rep more each time you do it. It's as simple as that. This is how fitness works, is we build week on week gradually. All right, wait a second, hold it there. Pause this video, go and get changed into some workout gear and then come back to me. I'll, I'll wait. I'll freeze like this, pause it like this. Okay, welcome back. First exercise you need to do, and by the way, this all has to be high intensity. There's not much break in between any of this, okay? If we're gonna try and get our pulse up, is go and find the bottom step of your stairs. That's where the first exercise starts. You ready? Now, before we start, let me just explain. What we're doing is every exercise on one leg, we're working each leg one at a time, and we're doing 10 reps on the left leg, then 10 reps on the right leg, then 10 on the left, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, 10 on the right, then new exercise. Got it? Good. Okay, we're gonna start with just stepping up onto the step, 10 times on the left leg. One, and back down. Two, three. So that was the left leg, now we're going right leg. Moving on, left leg again. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, really push through the heel if you can. When you step up, make sure your heel's in contact with the ground. Nine, 10, switch legs to right leg. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one with the left leg. the first one done we're moving into reverse lunges back upstairs all right reverse lunges we're gonna reverse on our left leg first ready two keep your back straight We're going to switch to right leg. Nine and ten. Let's go the rest of you. So back onto left leg. In side lunges now we're gonna go side to side left side first keep the back straight ten we're switching to the other side I feel like mr. motivator Hopefully you'll remember it. Well, you won't remember him. Any of the kids watching this, there's no way you're going to remember him. Let's call me Mr. Isolator. No, don't do that, actually. Seven. Eight. Nine.
top ten. Do you like that, guys? back in this is where you need the seat or the stool all right Whew. okay we'll go left leg first so right leg back onto the chair or stool behind you and you're just going to squat 10 times okay from here Don't feel like you need to do it. Like I say, build up to these. Right, ready? to your steps right in this one we're combining two of the movements we're stepping up onto the step and then we go back down we're going into reverse lunge so this is going to take some coordination okay I'll show you so we go left leg first up with the left leg step down with the right into reverse lunge up into reverse lunge legs up with the right first step down with the left lunge with the right up right back right up right back Okay, next set, set two.
Last set. Last exercise, oh, I've got a proper sweat on now. Okay, the last one is this getting up from a stool, essentially on one leg. So we're gonna go left leg first. Okay, ready? Five, six, seven. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna be walking like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz for the next couple of days. This is a deceptively hard workout that I've built up to over time, so remember to take it easy, but yeah, my legs are gonna be sore. But this is what we're doing, so we're building stronger us, every single one of us that does this workout. So if you're sore over the next couple of days, you're not injured, it'll be your body repairing yourself and building up your muscles even stronger after a workout like that. This is how the body works. You put it out of its comfort zone, you make it uncomfortable, and it decides it doesn't like that, and it's gonna build its muscles a bit stronger so that it can deal with what you're doing next time. So our bodies are unbelievably clever. Right, enjoy being sore for the next couple of days. I'll see you tomorrow for Tent Peg Thursday, where we're gonna work on forming some really positive habits in our lives while we're stuck at home and possibly going a bit mental. See you tomorrow.